All right, folks. I know I've been slacking on Hannah's house right here. I told you I'd keep, you know, keep y'all up to date on YouTube, and I hadn't done it. My fault. I've been so busy, just had so much to do. Like, it's just, just like right now, I'm sitting there trying to think five steps ahead of what needs to happen because we got a bad storm coming in. And But what I'm going to do is switch this thing off and turn this camera around, and, and then that way we can, uh, I can walk y'all through it and sort of get you caught up to date of what, you know, what's going on so far. You know, get something posted where y'all can look at something. Y'all hang in there, though. I'm going to get y'all up to date. All right, so you ain't got to look at my ugly mug. We can look at the house. Got the beans built. I don't know if, uh, maybe Hannah may have posted a little bit on it. I don't know, but, you know, should have, she should have something on getting the beans built. And, um, you know, I was thinking she was putting something on YouTube anyway. I don't know. We, like I said, we've been so busy. It's just been crazy. Oh, still got, got two windows. I think we're going to put a window on both sides of this gable right up there. 2030. Got five on the side up here under each beam or under each truss up there. You can see them. Got a turkey goblin back here behind the house, too. I keep hearing him, and that's got me really distracted because, you know, I'd rather be hunting him than, than doing this, but, you know, got, got priorities. So, but got the front porches done yesterday. Oh, don't know. We're t I think Hannah's sort of switching gears. I don't know if we're going to go with metal on the side. We're going to go with white metal on the side and wood shutters on both sides of the windows and then maybe some big, oh, like, almost like farm doors to cover up, you know, to go on both sides of the, the front door over that white metal, but, but not functional just for looks. Yeah, he's gobbling. Whew, he's killing me. Every time it thunders, you can hear him gobble. It's just eating at me oh he's hammering yep so let me walk you through the house everything's going to be spray foam so thinking about putting either thermoply on the outside before we put the metal or wood or whatever so like i said she might be shifting gears and going from wood on the i mean from metal on the outside to wood now all this right here is going to be just wide open except for a floor system over the kitchen the kitchen's gonna sit back there matter of fact that's gonna be the kitchen sink that little window right there in the middle but all of this is gonna be wide open we're gonna put the clothes sail up against the bottom of the metal and then spray foam got five and a half inch wide lath up there that's uh two by six is turned up edgeways eight foot on centers on these big beams and they are five inches wide and ten inches thick so heavy duty stuff right here all of the two before, you know, the, the bracing up there will come down. Oh, it can come down now. Matter of fact, I just hadn't had a chance to uh, get up there and do it. Still got a frame in the gable end, which is going to be on the outside of that gable. That way, that truss is actually inside the house and you can see it. I didn't want to put it on the plate and then cover it up or something, you know. So you'll be able to see all of these beams. And they are unbelievable. Went ahead and put wood on the back side of these right here. So let me show you so we wouldn't have to, uh, I wouldn't have to cut metal or whatever in between those. You know, you get a better idea of what I'm talking about. See, that's just a lot more finished looking than, uh, you know, than having to cut metal. Just saves a lot of time. I just screwed it right on the back of the trusses and then set it, just made, made life a lot easier. So it'll either be white metal under here or wood, I don't know, may just go with one of the 12s. And then probably go with rusty tin in here on the ceiling, you know, on these porches and everything. May do that rusty tin if we can find enough of it to do that, uh, to do that, you know, the ceiling up there too. Definitely gonna be a lot of wood in here this whole room should be just solid wood because this is where all the mounts are going, you know, all the, all of that. But 16 foot from right there to the plate line and probably 20, 22, 22 or 23 feet to the top up there from the, you know, from the ground. So uh, <clears throat> it's gonna be fun. These ladders, matter of fact, these ladders right here, these step ladders are 14 foot tall. 
and I borrowed them from a power company. They are, they have been a lifesaver. But got the trusty set, that was fun right there. Set them with the lull. So I left that gable wall out and that gable wall out and then that way I could set, you know, I could, wouldn't have to worry about getting too blocked on that big 16 foot wall right there to set these trusses. But everything's looking good. Oh, still got a lot to do. Like I say, I got to frame in these gable ends on the outside and, uh, you know, sheathe the outside with whatever thermoply or whatever OSB, whatever we're gonna do. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do yet. And then go with either wood or metal on the outside. And if we're gonna go with metal, then I'm fixing to get on the sawmill because I got a lot of cutting to do to wrap around this thing. It's 48 by 48. And uh, this room is 20 by 48. And like I said, we're gonna have a 16 foot uh, upstairs up here. It's gonna be 16 by 20 over the uh, kitchen area right here. And the stairs will come up on this side. So log set of stairs going up to the floor system, which will be up here. It's gonna look really good. Anyway, like I said, I apologize for, for keeping y'all in the dark on this. It, it it's it's just, I just been so busy that I have not had a chance to uh, to do it, you know, to video. I mean, and we don't have people to do this stuff. We have to do every bit of it, and it's just it's just a lot. When and when I get to working on something, uh, I go at it wide open, and you know, I just haven't had the chance to uh, to keep y'all up to date. And I apologize. Y'all hang in there, though. I believe it's going to be a beautiful home. And uh, I know she's gonna enjoy it. Yeah, let me get y'all a look from the backside and then I'll cut this off cause it's getting boring just walking around looking at a house, I'm sure. Six foot set of stairs on the back right here. Letting all of this stuff dry before I make that final cut because this stuff will shrink. And I got the flashing up against the outside for rain that blows in. I don't want it getting up against the house floor system. Look at this beautiful thing, look at that. Got a, a 12 foot wide porch on the back and an eight foot wide porch on the, so it's 20 foot, it's 20 foot wide and 12 foot deep, I'm sorry. Eight foot deep on the, on the front porch. Cause they're gonna be spending most of the time back here. I mean, look at this yard, beautiful. Yeah, turkey's gobbling back here. I mean, it's just, it's gonna be amazing. All right, y'all. I hope y'all have a great one. Appreciate y'all.